Hello everyone, welcome to Felipe's Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at another LEGO City Stun set, the Blade Stun Challenge. So this set contains 154 pieces and we have 35 New Zealand dollars. It comes with two minifigures, a stun spike and of course building this uh, Blade Stun Challenge stage. First we're going to take a look at the minifigures and this is the main reason I bought this set. In fact, I keep buying the LEGO stun screen because usually they include some really cool mini figures and given that you know the LEGO City theme being doing discount, at least in New Zealand it's like you know 25-30% off, you know, so you know it's a really good opportunity for me to buy some exclusive parts instead of waiting for the parts to be available on brick and pieces. So on the left we got um you know a minifigure, pretty much the technician. You got this uh, nice torso here. Um no Elton facial expression for both of the minifigures, um, I think you know this minifigure appear you know in other Lego City set. Well, probably not the same character, but on the right is one of the main <laughs> minifigure that I really want to get just because of the new parts. Um, this face here just looks stunning, and it's exclusive to this set at least for now. And the torso itself is also really cool. Uh, actually, it's not a purple torso; it's um, the lime green, uh, but you know printed jacket on on the torso and you've got some really cool uh, back printing as well. Overall I think this is a really cool minifigure and of course you have his helmet uh, when he's running a bike and also a unprinted guitar. And here's the blade stun challenge stage. Um, so for, for the stun stream you know the, the build itself you know usually is quite simple. It's really about the play feature. Uh, I've got a new color uh, stun bike here, no printing but I like the you know mountain bike type and you also got you know uh, some speakers with some uh, effects it makes it like it blasting some music so instead of going through the build we'll just see how it works you know given that last time with the loops it is quite difficult to pull off but after I build I actually tried once it's actually also quite difficult to pull off the stun but let's see if I can pull off the stun this time before we attempt the stun, quite a few things I want to highlight uh, in this is I really like um, the, the clear parts, the, the blades part. I'm not sure if it's new or just a recolor, but at least for me, this is the first time I get these uh, parts here, and I really like it. And also, I like the fact that, um, you know, how, how it designed and the use of the uh, roller coaster track. And I also think this is the first time I get the straight uh, roller coaster track in this color. So let's see how it goes. So the bike supposedly crash through the gates, and before um the blade drops, it should go through. And and let's see if I, I can pull it off this time. So one, two, no. <laughs> okay, take two. Let's see. Yes. And this is the blade stun challenge. I think this set, you know, it's hard, hard to say this set is uh, brilliant or it's not, you know, good enough to me. I think it has some really cool minifigure parts which I like, and and the play feature itself is uh, a lot more well, a lot more well. Probably I would say is uh, more challenging than I would have originally thought. Even though it's a lot easier to pull off than uh, going through the two loops uh, like the uh, double uh, loop stun challenge. And also comes with some really cool parts as well, but the price is a bit on the high end. But then most of the Lego sets recently, you know, all the pricing is a bit high end. So you know, if you look for some really cool minifigures and and you see a discount on it, I will definitely recommend this set. But otherwise, if it's just a really casual fan, this set is probably not for you. Let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. If you like my video, be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. And I'll see you next time.